It is a thrill uh, to be back at the Florida Holocaust Museum. I was last here almost 19 years ago in 1996, and I was floored then by the, uh, the exhibition, by the uh, large number of, of visitors, especially students that I saw then. And now that I'm back, I have, uh, have the privilege of seeing how this place has grown, has even more powerful exhibits, still crowded with visitors. I saw a lot of students here today. That made me feel real good. But this is now obviously one of the premier uh, institutions of its kind in the entire world. The, the people of uh, Tampa St. Pete should be very proud to have it here. And uh, bravo to everyone uh, from Walter and the late Edie Lobenberg and everybody else who, who built this amazing place. Part of the, the, the hope for preventing atrocities is establishing um, a reality in which perpetrators for the first time will seriously consider the possibility that they will be brought to justice. Uh, a few years after Nuremberg, the uh, Allies, East and West, largely gave up on uh, these cases, and so the vast majority of the perpetrators of Nazi crimes got away with it. Um, but uh, those, those trials, and including the ones that we've done here, have, have been really the precedent for things like the International Criminal Court in The Hague uh, and other efforts uh, uh, to bring to justice perpetrators from Rwanda and Bosnia. And I think slowly, but I believe surely, we are getting uh, to the point where um, accountability legal accountability, criminal law accountability, will become eventually the, the rule and not tragically the exception that it is thus far.